Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, today we're going to do a really quick dish. Uh, it's actually a component of, uh, of a dish, and if you were at the Fitness Frenzy recently, you got to taste that. We did a really fun one, and uh, what I'm talking about is hummus. Hummus is a great uh, thing to know how to make. It's really simple, really quick, and it's uh, kind of a way to plug in some fun foods for the kids and do some different things with, instead of using heavy sauces, mayonnaise, you know, different things like that. It's a little more healthy, a little more natural. But uh, basically all it is, is uh, we've got some garbanzo beans that are cooked, and I use the canned variety. Um, using those, we want to rinse them off, make sure we get all that salt off. Uh, usually they're packed in some sort of a briny solution, and we want to make sure and rinse those really good. Or you can even soak them overnight and then uh, put them in a colander and get that solution off of them too. But I've got about a cup of garbanzo beans. And I've got some uh, light olive oil, and I've also got a little bit of sesame oil, about a tablespoon. And um, typically with hummus, you have some sort of a, a sesame product, whether it's tahini paste or even whole sesame seeds. Um, but you can go a lot of different directions with, with hummus, and that's part of the fun. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to grind them together. So I'm going to add my olive oil to the cooked garbanzo beans. And I'm going to start off with about half a cup probably going to be plenty. And I'm using an immersion blender I call a wand blender. You could also use a regular blender, food processor, uh, your hands, let the kids get in there, whatever works for you. But all we're going to do is just mix it up real quick. And this isn't going to take very long at all. The kids love this part. You know, you're making uh, Make it a little paste here. Well, this is definitely something you can throw together if you're in a hurry. And that's pretty much it right there. Now I like to keep my hummus a little bit on the chunky side. If you don't, that's okay too. But this is kind of the, the end product. If you want it really smooth, you, know, you can keep going with it. But uh, I like a little bit of the texture. It's kind of like the creamy mashed potatoes versus the chunky mashed potatoes thing. But uh, that's what we've got. I'm going to add a little bit of the sesame oil to this too. Just a touch, about a teaspoon, to give it that sesame flavor. And we're just going to stir that in. Set this aside. And this is our base. Uh, we can add any kind of flavoring to this that we want. I'm going to season it with a little bit of kosher salt and a little cracked pepper. We could add fresh herbs to this. We could add some roasted garlic, some citrus. Just kind of depends on what you want to put with it. I'm going to add a little bit of pesto. And if you were at the Fitness Frenzy, we added some sun-dried tomatoes and some pesto. And um, it was a really delicious uh, little thing we had going on. I've got a pre-made pesto here. Uh, pesto is not hard to make. A little bit of olive oil, some fresh basil, and some garlic, and you're good to go. Um, or you can find one in your store. Just make sure you can pronounce everything on the ingredient list so it's a nice natural product. But I'm just going to add about a quarter of a cup to this and stir it in. So we've got a pesto hummus. And that just gives it a little zip of flavor. Hummus is kind of like a blank canvas. You can really add anything to it. And um, that's it. That's the finished dish right there. You can put this in the refrigerator uh, for about a week. You know, use it for sandwich spreads. I've got uh, some nice little baked flatbreads here, or baked flatbreads, that we like to cut into triangles. And what you can do is just take your hummus and spread it on there. And this is a great sandwich base. We could sprinkle it with some you know, grated Parmesan or some different vegetables or spinach greens or fresh herbs. And you got a great snack for the kids after school too. But uh, hummus is a great thing to work with. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for stopping by.